Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be analyzing the major and the minor currency pairs alongside the DXY. A quick side note, if you're interested in learning this strategy that I'm using within this video, make sure to check out the link in the bio down below. So without further ado, let's dive straight in. As per usual, we're going to start off by analyzing the DXY. The DXY did exactly what we wanted it to do. As we can see, we broke this major swing low impulsively and we're currently making a nice retracement back up towards the upside. So after calling this break of this swing low for days slash weeks, we currently can see that we want to retest either this major swing low or this area of consolidation over here. So how is this going to happen? Well, let's go down to the lower time frame. Because if we look at the one hour, we can clearly see that we are in this massive descending trend just underneath this descending trend line. So currently drawing this Fibonacci level, and as you guys can see, I'm either waiting for two scenarios to play out, either a tracement back down towards, or back up, excuse me, towards the swing low over here, which we broke, which was previously support and should now act as resistance, or we want to see one impulse higher, back up towards the trend line, back up towards the 618 to then see the real downside further push occur. So currently not looking for any longs on the DXY, mainly due to the fact that the higher time frame trend has now officially been broken for me personally. So I will only be looking for DXY shorts. So yeah, with the DXY discussed, let's head over to Aussie CAD. And Aussie CAD is moving beautifully as well. As we can see, we made this minor retest as we can see over here with the wicks of this area which I marked out yesterday, which was previous resistance and now acted as support. There were no setups uh, on this pair yesterday, as we can see the impulse and then the correction was far too short. So the correction never made it back down towards the 0382 Fibonacci level, hence why I was not able to look for any potential longs. So what can we expect now from Aussie CAD? Well, I'm just gonna be waiting to be honest until we hit this reversal area and the minus 27 fib. From there, I'm gonna be looking for a nice short or a potential lower time frame trend break. So how would this look like? Well, if I draw on this structure line slash trend line over here, we can then see, okay, well, let's see one further impulse towards the upside, maybe come back, move up into the minus 27, then break the trend line, then give our setup by retesting previous structure and then giving bearish confirmation and then eventually mirroring the move all the way up, all the way back down again. So looking for potential shorts in the future, mainly due to the fact that we are currently situated within an overextended move on the four hour in some way. Yep, so either looking for this or we're gonna just keep on impulsing further towards the upside, which is also a possibility of course. So if Aussie CAD discussed, let's head over to Aussie dollar. And Aussie dollar, as we can see, had a nice break retest of this structural level. This was mainly on the lower time frame, as we can see over here. So it was a nice setup, as we can see. Talked about it in yesterday's outlook. Happy for you if you were able to catch it, as we can see a nice 0.382 Fibonacci retracement with a break retest of the previous structural resistance area. So acted as support over here. Just a beautiful setup, to be honest. Uh, personally didn't take it, was personally in pound yen. Uh, however, yeah, nice setup in my opinion. So what are we gonna expect today? Well, as we can see, we can draw on this structure line slash trend line. And we can now see that we're currently retracing a little bit. And we now have potential to retest this previous area of resistance, which could now act as support alongside the trend line. So we would have potentially a third trend line touch and a retest of previous resistance, which should now act as support. Not looking for much on this pair, to be honest, mainly due to the fact that the move all the way towards the upside is pretty overextended. However, as we can see over here, we had this major area of consolidation. And after major areas of consolidation, we can always expect large impulses to occur. As we can see over here, major area of consolidation, large push, major area of consolidation, large push. So. Yeah, we don't know when this large push is going to stop. However, we did just miss the minus 27 Fibonacci level, which I would like to see get hit. 
After that, what am I expecting? Well, I'm expecting a potential reversal area from over here. So minus 618 plus my potential reversal area will come into play once that level is hit. And from there onwards, I will definitely be looking to play Aussie dollar back down towards the downside, potentially even retesting all the way back down here. So retesting this major area of consolidation where there are still orders in the market to then see a further move towards the upside because we haven't retested this trend line at all yet. So we might still do that on, let's say, the daily time frame. So yep, with Aussie dollar discussed, let's head over to Euro dollar. And Euro dollar is not doing much, to be honest, as we can see, beautiful setup over here, which occurred on the Monday morning with the third trend line touch and a 0.382 Fibonacci retracement. Currently just impulsing towards the upside, expecting some further downside after hitting the 618 and my potential reversal area. So personally just gonna be waiting for some short term bearishness and then I'll see what we're gonna be doing once we hit the structure line and previous resistance, which should now act as support. So quickly go to the one hour time frame. And what can we see over there? Yeah, not much. Just this one hour over extended move over here. So yeah, personally just gonna be waiting for some more downside. Uh, nice to see by the way is again, large area of consolidation, large impulse towards the upside. So yeah, not much on Euro dollar personally, just gonna be waiting for some bearishness. So maybe retest this level over here and then move further towards the upside. However, it all depends once we come over here to see what uh, price will do once we hit that level and once we reach the fourth trend line touch. So if Euro dollar discussed, let's head over to pound dollar. And pound dollar is massively overextended. Definitely gonna be waiting for a nice pullback back down towards the trend line over here. So what will this look like? Well, we have to look at the one hour time frame then. And this would look like a break of trend, then maybe a 50 minute retracement with a 50 minute bearish continuation pattern. And then let's say retest this area of structure over here. Retest the trend line. We draw on our Fibonacci level. We can then see, okay, well, 618 kind of aligns with this area of structure over here, which I want to see retested. So just a spike into 618 and then further bullish continuation. So for today, just going to be waiting on some lower time frame trend breaks to trade pound dollar further towards the downside after this massive overextended move towards the upside. So with pound dollar discussed, let's head over to our last pair, which is Kiwi dollar. And Kiwi dollar did the exact same thing as Aussie dollar. As we can see, we had a break retest of this structural level over here, which I mentioned yesterday. So happy for you guys if you were able to take a long position over here. However, me personally, wasn't interesting due to the fact that we didn't hit the 0 0.382. Um, so yeah, what am I waiting for at the moment? Well, two scenarios could play out. Either we're gonna make the retracement back down a little lower, retest previous structure over here, and see further upside after making this third trend line touch over here. So this, or the other scenario which could play out is if we go to the higher time frame and look at the four hour, is make a little bit of a deeper retracement. So let me just take out this and this and this. So a little bit of a deeper retracement back down to let's say the third trend line touch of the four hour trend and then see more upside back up towards my potential reversal area over here from where I do definitely expect a further pullback towards the downside. Mainly due to the fact that the same with Aussie dollar Euro dollar, pound dollar, all the moves are extended on or overextended on those uh, pairs. So with all those overextended moves, definitely going to be looking for some nice pullback plays in the coming days. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions regarding any specific pairs that you would like me to analyze for you, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Uh, thank you all for watching and I can't wait to see you guys all tomorrow. Thanks guys.